iPad on course, hip square, release down the front leg, descend the weight and the hip back, peeling off the front foot, sit into the right hip to bring the foot back, touching down, square. When you square, you have to check to make sure that your right knee doesn't travel inside the right foot. You keep the right knee directly over the right foot, even as the hips turn to the wall. And the front knee pointing forward. Square. Shifting back, opening the hips to the corner. Touching down, squaring, without the right knee turning in. Square, release down the front leg, descend the back hip back. That opens the right hand. So the arm does not really articulate and move behind the body, it does not move, elbow does not come behind the midsection lying down the body, it does not arc back, causing tension and misalignment of the body. Squaring, opening, opens the hand, arm comes back with the body. Sitting, to pick the front foot off the ground, Squaring, scoops the hand through. Still sitting, still hanging. The arm is again not arched back, but out in a relaxed angle from the body. From square to opening, slowly opens the hand. Sitting initiates the peeling of the foot off. Squaring brings the hand through. Squaring and sitting. Brings the arm on top. Square, releasing down the front leg, sends the right hip back, opens the right hand. arm just travels with the body and with the body turn. Sitting to the hip releases the front toes, brings foot back, squaring brings the arm through, sitting brings the arm on top. Arm just moving with the body turn. Sit, squaring, keeping that knee over the right foot. Settling. Sitting rest, squaring. Opening, the hand stays here as the body goes back. Square, releasing down, send hip back. The hand stays here basically. Body moves back, opening the wrist. Square, opening. Sitting wrist, open wrist. Sit. Brings the foot in, squaring, brings the hand towards the body, settling, sitting, drops the hand. Still nice and open away from the body, not closed and tight. Down and away. Let the joints open as the body moves away from the hand. Wrist joint opens, elbow shoulder joint.
still nice and open. Spine is long. Watch for any leaning. Sitting on that bar stool right behind the butt. Keeping you nice and straight. Settled. Elbows away from the body. Hang out. Shoulders release down. Relaxing outwardly. Settle. Elbow points pointing towards the ground, but the shoulder joints open, belly released. Knees a little bit away from each other. Front knee directly over the front foot. Back knee, back knee is not collapsed. Open to the side. Knees a little bit repelling away from each other. Open space between the knees. Hip square. Release down the front leg, ascend the right hip back, opening the right hand, elbow stay pointing towards the ground. Sitting into the hip, peels the foot, squaring, brings the right hand through, left hand back to the body, hanging, settling, sinking, brings the hand one on top of the other. Check your alignment at the end. Take your time before you start. Take your time at the end. Mindful at the beginning, mindful at the end. Hang out, release, open, settle. Right arm just moves with the body. Sit, bring the foot back, squaring the hips. Settle, hang out. Watch for any tendency to lean back, sit into that bar stool, into that right hip. You want the tailbone pointing right to the ground. Okay, so not arch, no arch in the back, no tightness in the lower back. Lower back is virtually straight. We also do not want a pelvic tilt. We don't want the tailbone sliding forward, pointing straight down. Lower back is straight or neutral. Back and neck is open and long. Knees away from each other slightly. Take a moment at the end, hanging out, breath in the belly, shoulder joints open, elbows away from the body. Mindful at the beginning, hang out, release, open, and settle again. Release down the front leg, send the hip back. Sit, squaring the hips, sinking or settling, 
take a moment here. Elbows are away from the body. So the shoulder joints are open, the elbow joints are open. So watch out for the tendency to hike up when you bring that foot back, pull up and pull in. And that lingering at the end position where you're in and up or tight. So here the shoulders are closed, elbows are closed. Shoulders are open, elbows are open. Closed elbows, closed shoulder joints. Open shoulder joints, open elbows. Equal awareness through both arms the entire time, even though they're going in different directions, doing different things, they're equally driven by the hips. Equal awareness in both arms. Equal awareness. Equal flow through both arms. Check your alignment at the beginning and at the end. Spine is long and dangling. Start with equal awareness. Equal awareness through both arms. As though the moves of both arms were exactly the same. Hang out, weight through the feet. Start with equal awareness through both sides, both arms. Flow out equally through both sides, both arms. Keeping that equal flow a priority, regardless of the different paths the arms are taking. You're completely equal in your awareness. Com completely equal and flow. Watching for the articulation of that arm. We don't want to squeeze these muscles. We want to keep this open. So arms just coming back with the body turn. Not caving in here. Staying nice and open, extending out in the body. This is simply moving with the body turn. This is simply moving with the body turn. Not happening in the arms, happening through the arms. Noticing shoulder joints open, arms away from the body but settled. Open joints, settled weight. at a natural angle so I'm not again not tightening these muscles here releasing out from the shoulder joint 